I started this club. We originally were at uh, the Bedford Boys Club, and when that closed, we found this venue, and we've been happily here for about 10 years. I've been doing judo since I was six, so that's 15 years now, I'm 21. Um, I took over the club about three and a half years ago. A neighbour's son come and asked Ian if he would go to judo with him because um, the friend wanted to go to judo but he didn't want to go on his own. So he asked Ian if he would go with him, which was this judo club. Um, and that was 15 years ago and Ian is now the coach here. Right break, left break, Paul. My brother started doing judo and then I just really got into it with him, really. It's just made me more confident, I know that, because if anyone wants to start a fight with me, I can stick up for myself, really. I'm Tracy. I've got three children that do the judo. I help with the books, sort of like people that come, I take the money and fill in the books for Ian. Um, I've sort of come right through the club with, with Ian has taught me all the way through it now. Um, I sort of help. Um, my son comes to the club. And I used to, sit on, used to sit on the side, watching him train all the time. On the side, I'd have to go myself. And um, I think just a part of part of the commitment is just bringing him. I've just sort of got just involved in the club in that way. Right. Um, one of the parents, uh, James and Rebecca, that are on the mat, um, basically come up here for them. I used to help with the bookwork and everything, but I just come for them now, so see how they're doing. Um, basically heard about it from uh, one of my friends um, who had been competing some years previously and um, just decided to bring her along. Um, she loved it from day one. Well, my cousin, called Lufa, he used to do it and he come to stay around to us for a bit and he told me about it and I just started joining. It was my son, he, um, he was a bit of a naughty boy when he was a bit younger and he needed like, I thought, something with discipline. So I thought, ah, oh, I had sort of like the judo, so I thought, just bring him along and see how it goes. And then I had my little girl join and then my other daughter joined. So that's been three and a half, four years ago. As you know, judo is an Olympics, Olympic sport, but it is, it's trying to bring awareness of the sport to, to other people, like to, to well, children or whoever. I, I, didn't, I didn't start doing this until I was 38 years old. And I never, to be honest with you, I never really took much notice in it at all until you actually start doing it. Well, the idea is to try to get your opponent on the, on the floor as quick as possible. Uh, there's the hip on, which is a straight win. Or there's the lower score, which is Coco, Yuko and Wazari. From there you can do groundwork uh, for seniors, which is over 16. You've got arm lots of strangles. Or if you're a junior, you just have to hold them down for 25 seconds. So really at the beginning when you just see all the pushing, it's really just trying to get the upper ground tactically on the grips. With the jacket, you've got certain grips. Uh, some people like to go higher, some people like to go lower, depending on the height difference, really. To be honest, when I come down here, I do a lesson like this. It's just, it's amazing to see the kids happy, enjoying themselves. It gives them um, confidence, um, self esteem. It proves to them that they can do something if they try hard enough. It's, it's good to build up um, discipline in your spirit. You know, the fact that, I mean, just the fact that you're getting thrown so many times, you have to keep getting up. Um, I think it's very character, good for character building. We've had a, a few that have poked their heads in, and it, it's just nice to get them off the street, bring them in here, you know, and then a few, if they weren't here, 
you know, where, what else would they be doing? They'll be either hanging around the parks or playing PlayStation or whatever. We don't really have to do a great deal. She just generally is um, really interested in it. In terms of the competitions, that helps because it gives you something to look forward to, you know, something the whole family can get involved in. Everyone here, well, like myself, all the parents, everyone that helps out is complete volunteers. No one makes a penny out of this at all. It's purely just, we keep the costs of coming as low as we can. I mean, £2.50 they pay for a lesson, for a two hour lesson from trained martial artists is pretty good. Well, if it, if it wasn't for anyone volunteer, there wouldn't be a club. I think the club has got a lot of drive, and it's mainly, it's got that drive because it's always in a fresh approach. And if there was no volunteers, there wouldn't be a club. Just sort of slid into it and it was like right you know sort of like last year raising money for us to go like the children or to go to Poland it was like right don't mind getting involved because at the end of the day it's for the kids it keeps them off the streets it gives them something to do. If Ian has to have a letter out on the Monday night usually at about four o'clock on the same Monday he would ring up and say could you please write this letter type it up and get 30 copies off the printer for about Three quarters of an hour, please. Yeah, so. <laughs> but I would never ever say no. Yeah. Judo is, it seems like an aggressive sport, but it's not. It's, it, it's compared to other martial arts, it, it's quite general. The judo actually translates as a gentle way. I could actually sit on a scissor say I think there's, there's, there's a few kids on here that would have potential to do that with the right sort of help and guidance. I tend to not really mention it to the kids. Um, I don't concentrate on it. I tend not to concentrate on performance at all because the thing, the thing they come here for is because they enjoy it. And if they ever lose that, they'll stop coming. Then that's just a waste. Like everyone to go on to get black belts and go to the Olympics and stuff like that. <laughs> Even if I didn't get anything in the Olympics, I'd st still be proud just to be fighting in the Olympics, really. It'd be great for me, really. I, lo I love doing judo, so... Some of them, a lot of potential. It's like Vian, you know, he's sort of the youngest, sort of, um, he runs the club, and I don't think there's anyone else in, like, any competitions you go to that actually is sort of like his age that's achieved as much as what he has, you know. Sort of, to be a coach and to run his own club, he's, what, 21? You know, you can't ask more than that. 